I mean, big areas of focus right now, we're you know, seeing security grow. As Will had mentioned, security is big. Everyone's taking a look at that. But we are also looking at edge, edge growth, people wanting to run their own functions, wanting to uh, drive down things like you know, latency, getting closer to the edge. Uh, that's pushing us. And we've been experimenting with that quite a bit. We've had the edge for, well, as long as I can remember, we've been having edge functions. We've just been controlling it. Uh, you know, things like authentication and, and uh, redirects, doing some smart routing, things like that. But we've always controlled it internally, uh, exposing that for our customers to run functions, bringing in Kubernetes and uh, looking at our edges as raw compute that people can use, getting Docker set up. Um, you know, we're, we're driving that. We've we've been getting more requests from customers to, I mean, tool and provide them the ability uh, to know what's going with things like buffering, right? We we can go and someone's streaming video across our network. We're able to look at buffering with our own tool sets. How do we expose that so customers can see it too? Uh, I mentioned we, you know, got our streaming platform as a service. Uh, you know, customers want to make a decision on which CDN is going to deliver content. Uh, they need to see where we're at. So I, I'd say we're getting closer integrated with our customers. We are getting into some of their tool sets, and they're also asking more of us. And and there is a push to uh, be able to drive a bit of the architecture uh, to run some new use cases. So we're cool. we're being dynamic with our customers and. Um, sort of blending roadmaps. I'm going to start checking off a lot of the same boxes Thomas just ran through. And I think there, there's a bigger Oops, picture here, which is the homogeneity. If you, if you listen to the prior panel, people want consistent APIs from CDNs to, to do the same operation. So CDNs are now functioning primarily in a multi-CDN world. Everything we do, Limelight's expected to do, Verizon's expected to do, and other CDNs expected to do, because we're, we're seen as being an interoperable. And this has a lot of ramifications, a lot of opportunity for us to provide consistency and follow standards. It's also difficult for a CDN. If you go out and innovate on something that only you do, who's going to buy it? Because the, peop the people who want it, they can't rely on you doing it. They've got three other CDNs they're also delivering through. So we're seeing the same pressure around edge compute is definitely arising. The shift away from portals is the way you interact with the CDN and towards continuous integration, continuous development the dev-led environment. Nobody wants their go to the portal to view the chart of who view your traffic. You want real-time data logs coming out of your CDN and going to Splunk or, or Datadog, with, which, are, which are your sophisticated analytics engines. So real-time visibility uh, and, and data and analytics are right up there. And I also see a general tightening of requirements. Your CDN sort of used to be a best effort. Anyone would rack some HTTP service, put Nginx out there, put Varnish on top of them, and you had your CDN. And it's, it's mm -hmm. getting, if you look under the covers, the, the complexity level is rising dramatically. Um, and it's not simple per JPIs or not, or push content, you know, CRUD type operations on content. There's a lot of interplay. Content is probably never in one place. You have to find it, you have to discover it. And then you have to choose where to store it. And there's an awful lot of complexity going into that right now. And on top of that is protocol. HTTP 1.1 used to be what we delivered everything with almost 10 years ago. Now we've got H1, we've got H2, we've got H3 coming out as well. And the choice within those of which congestion protocol do we start using is an additional complexity. So the, the technical requirements of what a CDN has to do to start performing in this very competitive realm is, is risen dramatically. And that's really what customers are coming to us for.